Hello guys, this is Ratu498 and this is going to be a 2v2 commentary battle on Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai and uh, I'm fighting with Fashoski and our opponents are G Royal Clan, Shidoku who is a friend of mine and Japan Cake. So I'll be back to you in just one second when this game kicks off. Okay, so this is my army. I've got two spear levy. I've got a uh, Yari Ki and a Yari Kachi. I've got one, two, three Shogate and four Yari Ki. And this is Fashoski's army. He's got three uh, Spear Levy, three Shogate, and one, two, uh, oh, what's he got? Two Shogunate Guard Cav, and one Yari Ki, and a General. So our opponents, we've got uh, one, two, five Black Bears across the line, and then we've got United States Marines, and three Yari Ki and a General. And down here we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five Black Bears, and a United States Marine. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to use my uh, Spear Levy to go in front and they're going to come in and they're going to hold all these guys up. Then I've got my Yo uh, my Katana Kachi and my Yari Kachi, <coughs> which are going to go in just afterwards. And I've got my three decent sword units in behind. Um, after my guys engage, then my cab will go running through. Over here we've got cab engagement with uh, Black Bear unit. And they're going to be able to route them away pretty comfortably. So if I focus on what's happening over here, <coughs> so we've got double lines, which is exactly what you should do. Personally, I'd have put the double lines much further back. If you want to make the uh, sword units or melee units run after they've already engaged. So my spear levy run away, but my cav, only down to 47, 44, 40, are going to get in and they're going to hold some of these guys up. I've got spears coming down on this side that are going to get into these units, and also um, my cav are now charging through on this flank, and my swords are coming in afterwards. So basically everything on the front line is going to be into melee. And now his cab going to go in, in behind here. And basically he's going to charge in the back of his men, so he's going to do damage to himself there as well. And we're basically engaging everything in melee now. And the idea with these uh, melee armies is very, very simple. Get into melee as quickly as possible and stop your opponent from being able to um, shoot you to death, basically. And basically a couple of meat shields do that very, very nicely. And this was particularly... Uh, easy, no offence to the opponent, there wasn't a huge amount you could have done about it. These uh, melee builds seem to be very overpowered, in my opinion. I don't really tend to see many people lose with them. And as you can see here, it's just pretty much a whitewash all the way down. Even these marines really aren't going to be able to do too much at all. And they're going to start running away really, really quickly. They've got their little swords out, but they're not going to be able to do much damage at all against these guys. These Shagatai are really good. So this guy was wiped out in literally, um, what was it, about a minute, minute and a half. So it really wasn't too hard to kill him as soon as the melee units got into battle with him. And now on this flank, Fashoski is charging in. And his guys are going to come into battle. And he's doing exactly the same thing, basically. Um, meat shield in front, swords behind. Basically exactly the same thing. And these guys are going to get into battle. And then as soon as they do, you're just going to see the numbers run away on these lines. These lines are really, really bad in melee. Mike have gone in to try and hold up this US Marine from firing to get, allow these guys to get in. And these guys do get in. Some of my um, Yari Kachi come across now as well and they manage to get in as well. And the problem for us is going to occur, I mean it's not really a problem, but it's going to occur when he pulls to the top of this hill. Realistically when facing melee armies you want to be A on the high ground, make them run uphill, which is going to take them longer to get to you no matter what kind of uh, bonuses they have or their general have, it's going to take them longer to get to you. And also you want to make sure you're in double or even triple lines and you want to use your cav before the opponent engages, even if it's against his spear levy or Yari Kachi. Just get your cav in there to hold them up. Um, you're going to lose your cav if they get into melee anyway. So it really isn't going to make too much difference. You just want to hold them up before they get to your lines. But as you can see here, it's just basically a whitewash now running up these lines and getting through there. And so, so the problem mainly occurs when you're trying um, attack uphill. As you can see these guys are going to get uh, quite a few decent shots off on these units running up the hill. The Shogate are charging in. But this was a good game of these guys. Um, uh, sh as I say, Shidoku is a uh, friend of mine, so uh, it was a good game playing against him. Always is. And these melee builds, as I say, are, in my opinion, a little bit overpowered. Because especially if you take vanilla units like I did, I, the only units I had which were um, vets were my Yari Ki, simply because they do need a couple of uh, a couple of experience on their melee attack, in my opinion, 
to make them really good. But these swords, very, very good in uh, vanilla status, so really cheap and very good build. So that was a good game of these pounds. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back in a second when the uh, end screen results up. Okay, guys, so here's the uh, end screen for you. Da -da 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 -da. And I'll show you the unit's just, uh, statistics. There we go. Uh, my Yari Key 148, Shugate, Shugate, and Yari Kachi with the next. And my opponent, Black Bears and Black Bears, top two killers. Fashoski 148 with the Yari Key. Identical, look at that. So yeah, it's the same the Shugate next in uh, Shogunate Guard Cav. I don't really rate the Shogunate Guard Cav, to be honest. I, I don't think they're worth the money. I think an experienced Yari Key is much better. Uh, United States Marines, 91. So, realistically, the opponent's lines didn't really do much because we had the meat shield. There wasn't a huge lot they could do. Um, so, I'm going to roll you into another replay quickly. It's another melee build, and I'll show you that one too. Okay, guys, so here's the next replay for you. It's against uh, Pine and Quidium from AG. Uh, me and Fashoski are using melee rushes again, so um, I'll be back to you in a second just when the game kicks off. Okay, guys, so we're back, and I'll just quickly show you the build. I'll show you Fashoski's first. Right, he's got one, two, uh, Spear Levy, and he's got two Yari Kachi, and then he's got uh, three Shogatai, and he's got three Yari Ki this time. And we've got down here two Yari Ki for me, I've also got two more hidden I believe, I should have, yep, two more hidden down there, and I've got uh, exactly the same build as I had before. So this is Pine, and here it's got uh, one Black Bear 150, one Black Bear 125, Spear Levy and Spear Levy showing. Uh, he does have a lot more than that, we'll see that in a minute. And this is Quidium, a uh, couple of Yari Key there. Uh, we have got here Black Bear 125 and a Carbine Cab. And some more Black Bears there and a Spear Levy. I need to go with some units showing up here. Uh, Black Bear 125 and another Black Bear 125. Right, so basically I've got Cab Capture, so I come forward and go to take that. Oh, let's put it in real time. Come forward and I was going to take that, but then I realised he had a uh, Carbine Cab, so I decided to run away pretty quickly. I wasn't going to do too good. Um, Fashoski's got his cav going to come around here as well. And this, I believe, is the Shrine. And this one is the Archery Dojo. Um, neither of these two dojos we want to let them have. For obvious reasons, they've got lines so that will help them. The Archery Dojo will help them a lot. Uh, the, the extra morale they could get could cause us a huge amount of problem. Uh, trying to ramp them away, so we don't want that either. Um, so the route I'm going to take is I'm going to come down the top here, and as you can see, it's a hill. So the idea would be running down the hill to attack downhill, and try and get some cav behind around here. Would also be the idea with the two hidden cav that I had up here. So they're going to try and get behind while my units go try and come downhill. Fashoski is going to take a much more forward approach, and he's just going to charge straight through the hole there, straight into them. Um, so now we're going to have a cav fight, and they're always good fun these big cav fights, and we're going to have quite a big one down here. And I'm expecting we're going to lose it, but to be honest, getting their cav out of the way of our melee rush is the main priority here, and stopping them from taking that too early. So it's not going to be a case of we're trying to win this particularly, it's just a case of getting rid of as many cav around here as possible. And we do a decent job of tying up all their cav down here. So all their cav units end up coming down here and they end up uh, fighting off down here. So this is a good uh, plan for us basically, because everything up here where cav is my main threat against my um, swords, that threat is now gone. So whether we lose our cav or not is pretty much irrelevant. As you can see we are losing our cav as his cab aren't going to do anything from being so far away from the main battle. And obviously they're holding up the round dojo. Right, a few things they do wrong. These guys are both excellent players, so nothing against them. I do believe these melee builds are a little bit OP. Um, but a few things they do wrong. As you see, not fully extended lines, all bunched in nice and close together. This is perfect for us. The more tight formation they pack themselves in, the easier it's going to be for us to get into them and hold all their lines up from firing. Really, should have had lines here, here, and through here as well. So like three forms of lines. So when we're engaged in the first or second lines of firing, when we're engaged in the second or third lines of firing, that's kind of the idea. And they do try and do something like that, but just too much like a box. So as you see, I'm not even stopping, I'm just running straight down this hill. They're winded, who cares? As soon as we get into melee, these lines don't stand a chance, whether my guys are tired, winded, they're not uh, very tired or fresh. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. They're gonna uh, get destroyed as soon as we get into melee anyway. Right, so I've got a couple of cav units which have come down the flank and they're gonna come in down here as well. Uh, Fashoski's charged his men straight in. So we've got one cav unit which came back from the battle down the bottom, but that is it, I believe. So, oh, we might have another one down there. Cars, carbine cav. So, really, they're not going to do too much for um, holding me up here at all. Uh, Spear Levy came in to try and hold me up. As soon as the swords come in, those guys are going to rat away really, really quick. 
Fashovsky's already got into um, some of Pine's lines over here. And we've got Quidium in behind, as I said, all bunched up nice and tight. And if, if you look at this from the top, you're going to see just how tight up he is. And really, as soon as one, one melee unit could stop all those units from firing. So it isn't really going to help him a huge amount there. So we're just routing away everything on the front line. I'm just going to continue to run straight through to the second line. Really, no particular skill involved in this. It's just basically having a better army build. Um, my Yari can actually turn around to deal with these two cav, and they do end up dealing with these two cav, as you can see they're engaged with them now, and the uh, Yari key aren't going to do a very good job against spears, so that does us a great job there, holding those two guys up. But as you can see, we're already into their lines, units are already ran away, we've got these guys in behind here firing, but they've, really, they've killed two men, so there's nothing really going on which is causing us a problem at all, we're just basically running through from line to line to line. So, but this was a good game of these guys, and... Um, as I say, they are both excellent players. There's, this is just an, for an example, because I know obviously they may not be too happy that I posted it, but it's just for an example. Um, but I do believe these armies are OP, but you're probably going to see quite a lot of them coming up, as I do see more and more people using this kind of build. Um, but here we go, I'll just go see the last few units right away now. And throughout this, they did actually have the morale dojo as well the whole time. So even though they had the morale dojo, it really didn't help them out at all. To be completely honest, it, it didn't help them at all. But this is a good game of these guys, and um, we'll just wait for it to finish off, and then we'll run into the load screen. I've oh, just got his general to kill off now. But I do believe. So that's the end there, and. Uh, Oh, started to lag out a little bit there. But that's the end there, and I'll run you into the end screen now anyway. So here's the end results for you. And uh, I will just pop you up with the kills. And my Sugar Tide got the top. Pine's Black Bear's got the top. And Fashowski's Sugar Tide got his top. And Quidium's Yari Key got his. So uh, there we go, guys. It was a good game of these guys, and I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.